Hey guys, my name is Kelvin, I'm a digital artist from Germany and in this video tutorial I'd like to show you two ways how you can turn a skin into a white skin. That means the skin tone, how you can desaturate a skin tone. I'd like to show you two ways, one way in Camera Raw and another way in Photoshop. Let's start with the way in Camera Raw. I open a file, I have here a JPEG, and I like to open this JPEG in Camera Raw. But the question is, why should I open a JPEG in to Camera Raw? Camera Raw have some very interesting sliders, what we do not have in Photoshop, and that's the reason. Camera Raw have an orange slider, and with that orange slider, I like to desaturate the skin tone. First of all, we have to say to the JPEG, hey JPEG, you are a RAW right now. And you can do that by changing the format here from JPEG into Camera Raw. And now the JPEG thinks, oh, I'm a RAW, cool. So click to open, and then you can change and then you're not changing, then you can open the JPEG into Camera Raw. That's very easy. Okay, let's go uh, into the HSL slider here, and then you can change all the tones in the picture. And see, that's the big advance in the Camera Raw. You do not have an orange slider in Photoshop. Now you can change the saturation, the luminosity and the hue of each color tone here and to create a more yeah, white skin, to desaturate the skin, you can change the saturation of the orange tone a little bit. You can desaturate the orange tone and you can make the orange tone a little bit brighter and then you will get a desaturated skin tone, a little bit a white skin tone. And the cool thing is, you do not need selections. You do not need masks or anything like that. Just changing two sliders, saturation of the orange tones and the luminosity of the orange tones. That's all. And then you have a more desaturated skin tone without losing the reds here on the lips or on the clothes. Perfect. But... I don't like to use this technique at the beginning of the retouching. When I open the file, I like to use this technique maybe at the end of my workflow in retouching. And for that, I need the same technique in Photoshop. So let's open this file again, this time in Photoshop. I click into File, Open, same file again, and I don't like to say to the JPEG, hey, you are raw. So be a JPEG. I click to open and now we need orange slider but we do not have an orange slider you can search we do not have an orange slider take a look here only reds only yellows of course you can play around to change the orange tones but I like to have an orange slider let's build one for that I make a selection here and then I create a new fill layer solid color and I like to choose a very nice orange tone. Let's choose FF7300, 7000 FF. That's a very nice orange tone. I click OK. Now you have to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. And now we have to change the reds or the yellows. It's up to you. I like to change the reds. I like to say or I like to have that the reds think they are orange tones and I can do that by choosing here my eyedropper tool and when I click on this part of the picture take a look what happened here with the color tone with on the color scale here I click on them and by clicking on that orange tone the reds now think they are orange. So when I click on this part of the picture, I say to the reds, hey reds, you are orange tones right now, okay? And the reds believe the German guy and think, hey, I'm orange. There is still here, and the name is still reds, but it's the orange tone. You can see that when you desaturate here or lighten with this slider, 
then you can see what happened in the picture. So let's hide that. We do not need the fill layer anymore. And now we can change the, <laughs> yeah, the name is reds, but it's the orange tone. We can desaturate a little bit and we can lighten a little bit. And then you, we will get a more desaturated skin tone. Take a look at the before after. Maybe we can also change the opacity here a little bit for a nice result. And the good thing is, and now buckle up, we can save that as a preset. <laughs> so click on that little icon here and then go into Save Hue Saturation Preset. And we give them a name, White Skin by Kelvin. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. And I click Save. Okay. I like to delete that. Let me open that file again. I close it. I open it again. Right here. Click OK. And then I open my adjustment layer, Hue Saturation. And then I go into my presets. Click. <gasps> White Skin by Kelvin. Ta -da -da -ta -ta -da. I click on them and we have a desaturated skin. So let's play a little bit with opacity. You can also play here with the reds. But hey, it's not reds, it's orange. And then you can choose your skin tone. It's absolutely up to you how you like to change the skin tone. But the good thing is you will not need a mask. You will not need a selection. It's perfect it's perfect if you need a fast result in desaturating the skin tone and you have your own preset okay guys i hope you like this technique i hope you can use this technique and um, let me know what you think so see you on my next tutorial bye bye